Meet Zap, a 250 pound dual spinner melty brain. But what is a melty brain and why is it the right design for BattleBots? Let me explain with this three pound prototype here. Melty brains are a revolution, quite literally. They spin the entire robot around at very high speeds, typically over 1000 RPM, but usually up to about 2000 RPM. And while spinning at these high speeds, the motors can be turned on and off at just the right timing to get the whole robot to translate around the arena. And this translation is not locked to forwards or backwards because while spinning, forwards and backwards don't exist. So the robot is able to translate any which way it likes around the arena. But of course, that means everything about the robot needs to be fast. The motors driving the wheels need to be fast. The ESCs driving the motors need to be fast. And the brain controlling absolutely everything needs to be exceptionally fast. Thankfully, the technology these days is incredible and you can keep up with the speeds that a melty brain needs to do. But why a melty brain? Why is a melty brain the best thing for BattleBots? Considering that when you look at this, especially compared to other three pound robots, it has puny little weapons that seem like they would do effectively nothing. Well, the melty brain has three things going for it. The first of which is that at speed, when it is spinning around, it is effectively a full body spinner, which means that there is no attack vector that somebody can come at you from uh, without hitting your weapon. If they want to attack you, they have to be attacked back, which means that you get all of the benefits of a full body spinner. On top of that, you get the maneuverability. As mentioned, while spinning at high speeds, this robot can translate any which way, much like Shatter and other Mechanum wheel style robots, something that a full body spinner can't do unless deliberately designed for. And on top of all of that, if the robot is not spinning, because of the gear ratio needed to get the robot up to a thousand plus RPM, the robot can drive incredibly quickly across the arena. In fact, that would be our game plan. As soon as the bell rings, slide across the arena as fast as possible, get the first hit in, and then spin into the melty mode to deliver knockouts very, very quickly. Then of course, the final thing is energy transfer. Now this is the other part of the energy equation in a hit. On one hand, you have the energy stored in the weapon. This is how fast the weapon spins and how much mass is in the weapon. And people are trying to optimize this all the time, getting faster weapons and getting heavier weapons all the way up until they hit the limit. On the other hand, you have weapon bite. This is how much of the weapon tooth slams into the opponent. And the more bite you get, the more energy from here you transfer into your opponent and the more damage you do. The problem is that bite decreases as your weapon speed increases. So the more energy you store, the lower your bite is and the less energy you can output into your opponent. Tantrum has taken an opposite approach using the sliding arm to shoot the weapon down into the opponent, maximizing the bite on the engagement. And because of this system, Tantrum's tiny little drum can pack an impressive punch because it is distributing all of that energy all in one go because it is maximizing bite. Melty brains take a similar approach, or at least a dual spinner melty brain takes a similar approach to the Tantrum approach, but instead of driving into something or accelerating the weapon with an external system, we're accelerating the weapon with the drive in a rotational axis. And this three pound prototype has already proven this. It has managed to put a five mil gouge in a piece of six mil aluminium and an equivalent robot with a three times size blade was only getting scrapes and nicks along the bottom because while that weapon was heavier and spun faster, its bite was smaller and therefore it was unable to get the knockout punch needed uh, to win fights. So that is Zap. It has the 100% offense, 100% defense of a full body spinner. It has the maneuverability of a mechanism drive like Shatter, and it has the knockout potential of the big hitters like Tombstone and Valkyrie. Let's see it up to speed in 2022.